Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm joined by a total stranger. Me! Bahamar! Hey, what, that's you me! you down into the ground? Because I want dust. You want dust. Well, Drop. that's uh, that's a noble cause, I suppose. Yeah. Pahamar, did you see what I did? I did things. Uh, you logged in. I did log in, that is correct. But I did other things. Slightly uh, more useful things, as a matter of fact. Uh, got, got a hint? Uh, I made barrels. I did see that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do you like my barrel system? Your barrels bring much joy to my inventory. Did you see that it's all automated? I hadn't seen that it was automated. Yes, come peek. Just Bad time to things. peek. Well, I mean, it is, you know. Ow. And I'm yeah. on fire, thank you. You're quite welcome. Jump in water somewhere. Over there. I said to watch out, but you didn't listen. I would bang you with this pan, but I may kill you. Yeah, that's all right. Mine set you on fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's um, it's a pneumatic tube system that runs from the chest here that everything empties out of, and it's basically got a filter set on it so that you can specify which items get pulled out. And I'm simply specifying everything that you get um, from dust minus you know the ores that you would want to smelt. Do you see what, I, you made? You see what I made? Oh, what'd you make? Fancy hang glider, huh? I did that wrong. Let me do that again. Yeah, noob. Because I know how to use a hang glider. I really don't. I also found out that there's a way that we can get more of this um, stuff that we've got and want more of um, in a very cool way. How so? But you so. didn't see that coming. You um, automation so we want... never. Yeah, no, not at all. So we want more of the seared, um, the seared brick stuff. And I found a way to double it. It's disabled that you can just melt down cobblestone or stone and get seared brick liquids. Um, but what you can do Whee! is pour it over cobblestone. So if I put cobblestone in this thing, Check it, it out, should use... Fly. Ooh, fancy. Looking good. Yeah, to totally yeah, interrupt, totally interrupt your, your explanation there, I'm doing this because this will make it a lot easier to get to and from the city. Because the city's got super high buildings. Yeah. So if we set up a tower here to climb up with with ladders and then just fly over with hang gliders, we could totally avoid all the mobs. Well, that's a cool idea. I'm smart. I don't just make buildings. Uh, you are a pretty smart dude. Um, not sure of trolling, but thank you. Not trolling. So let's see. Just pour that in. Turn it off. So when I, yeah, it in. I was uh, digging this space out here because it made it a lot easier to uh, get the dust I needed. And I figured it gives yeah. us another another uh, place to uh, hide stuff. Because you're a big, uh, a big proponent of hidden systems. Yes. So I thought I would scratch your hidden systems bug um, itch or whatever. Yeah. So what are you doing? You aren't even listening. No, I was doing this thing where I was trying to get more seared brick. So yeah, you basically double your seared brick by pouring seared stone over cobblestone. So as long as you have some amount of seared stone, be it the blocks or the little, you know, whatever kind of stone, you just, you know, sear it, pour it over cobblestone, and you'll wind up with two seared cobblestone per uh, liquid. So you can see here we have five and a half blocks. And I've made, you know, three seared cobblestone so far. So you do a pretty good job, I think, of getting stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do, Mr. Pahimar, is I think... Oh, yeah, it looks like I've got a couple of seared stone as well. I don't want that to be the case. So what I should have instead of this, and I think I've got it in here, actually. Do I have one? I do. I should do this manually. It would just be easier for everybody involved. And it doubles it. So you can see there now we've got five blocks. And now we should have four and a half. Sweet. And now we've got four. And each of these can be smelted again. So I can just throw these all in here. And they'll all smelt back up into a full block's worth. So what's, your, cool? 
Okay, so your end goal is to get us more resources, right? Yeah, my end goal is to get us more Seared Stone, because what I want to make, and it also happens to be our next quest objective, by the way, um, is a High Oven. High Ovens will triple your ore from dust. So instead of doubling it in this guy, it'll triple it. The only downside is high ovens need to be run on um, some kind of fuel source like coal. Um, and so we don't have like as easy automation of coal as we do cobblestone to lava. But I figured we'd figure that out as we go. Um, I mean, we have tons of wood, obviously, that we've been chopping down. And at some point, we'll have a wood farm. So... I mean, that's kind of my plan. Does that sound like a decent one? Uh, decent, maybe. Right, just a little bit decent, but not terribly decent. It's acceptable. Well, thank you. I'm now feeling much more honored that Pahimar thinks my plan is acceptable. Um, the Hive will complete a quest for us, as well as allowing us to triple our ores, as well as, I believe, once we have a high oven, we can like directly get um, this stuff. I think we can smelt cobblestone into seared stone in a high oven, too. So then we can have, you know, whatever we want to do. The other good thing, by the way, Bahamar, about the high oven is it will not mix your um, liquids. So you know how, like, if we put gold and silver into the smeltery, we'll get, like, a mixture and it'll turn into electrum or something like that? Mm -hmm. We might not necessarily want that to happen. So by using a high oven to smelt, we'll guarantee that won't happen. And we don't have to have multiple smelteries like we did in Agrarian Skies. That sounds good. You don't have to have shears, yeah. do you? I do. Well, I just made some more. There you go. So I already have 11 scorched brick. All I need now is um, some regular bricks. And I should be in some pretty good shape here. Um, I just want to, if this stuff's done melting yet, almost. Let's get some clay. I believe we have some clay. Cool. So according to my math, I think the 16 clay that we have here will actually suffice. Oh, are you smelting up some leather for us? Yep. Yep. Sweet. Do we so have any more no charcoal water. laying around? Uh, we don't. Uh, we don't. Okay. The reason I'm making us well, more leather, because you can leather. smelt you can zombie smelt flesh into leather, leather, is so we can make yeah. some more camel, camel packs, which will actually make it a lot easier cool. for us to take water with us when we go exploring. So we'll just take an extra nice. camel pack as opposed to three bottles. Okay. I'm going to make another slab furnace then. Okay, so, Pahamar, I think that'll do it for that stuff. That'll get us the clay we need to get started, because I need bricks. What you do is you pour the seared stone over bricks to get the scorched brick. Uh, let's see if I can recipe that. See? Seared stone. And it's a small amount of seared stone that you need, by the way, per scorched brick. And according to the math that I did for the smallest possible um, high oven, you need 110 of those bricks. That's the so math that I came up with. Uh, I am. Uh, luckily, I can automate that relatively easily. Or so I think. I just need to test it. But I should be able to automate it. Do you want to come back in a minute when this is all done melting and all our clay is cooked up and then we can have some fun? Sounds good, because I think pretty soon I'll be ready for a test flight of my uh, my hand glider. Okay. See you in a bit, guys. All right, Pahamar, I think I'm ready to do this. Um, so, like I said, I need, first off, 110 of these. And so far we've got 11. So I just made 16 bricks. And I'm going to check out if this works. It should. All I need to do is put the bricks into an item hopper like so. Where are you at, by the way? Bat paw. Bad paw. Bat paw. Why are you I was testing sink out. shell constructing? I may have died off camera. You may have died or you did die? Well, sink cells shells don't just, you know, auto regen. So yes, right. I, I so... did die. You did die. Okay, so with you being dead, why are you outside the walls? Because I'm harvesting my ladders again. Nuts to your ladders. Bad Pahimar is I'm bad. I'm back inside. Oh my god. Not acceptable. 
Dark Souls just great. Pahamar, guys, this is what it's like playing with Pahamar. He's like, hey, guess what? I'm going to go do something incredibly risky and probably die and then be banned from the server. And Direwolf, you're going to have to finish this series all by yourself. It's all part of the master plan. I can see that. Uh, I believe I have what we need to complete the triple play quest. One high oven, one scorched duck, and one scorched drink. Duck? Like quack? Yeah. Duck like ducked. Oh. That's far less interesting. So that's that. And then we're going to want a scorched duct. And then a scorched drain. And then I think we need the seared controller. That's the other thing we needed, right? Yeah, high oven controller. And that, sir, is how you complete triple play. Oh, wait, you need a deep tank. Oh, deep tank controller. Wow, really? I'm pretty sure that needs eight of these. Guess how many I have, Fahimar. One. Seven. Oh, nice. Do you want to sleep through the night? Yeah. Because I want to build a um, uh, platform. Yeah, if you want. I guess it would be wise to make two. There. Now people won't yell at me for wasting coal. Uh, uh, you coming to bed? I'm coming. All right, sleeping. So apparently where Pahamar set up these beds in the middle of the base, um, monsters can't be close enough to prevent sleeping. Uh, but an Enderman can teleport into our base. We've yet to have an Enderman te uh, teleport into our base. Uh, no, we haven't. We, we just had one, and I got terrified and backed away slowly. Where is he? I need to kill him. He teleported away, because it's daytime. I'm going outside. Ah, uh, don't die. And I'm poisoned. And you're not gonna die? I shouldn't. How do we get Lappies? Lappies can shapelessly craft from rain plant seeds, or can smell lappies, or redstone furnace, or pulverizer, or we have to sieve gravel. We don't happen to have lapis laying around, do we? Not that I'm aware of. Um, <laughs> right. There is some gravel. Do we have some gravel? Yeah, I think so in one of the systems there. All right, we're going to have to sift that, and I'll probably have to get out the hammer and start hitting stuff really hard. So back in a minute then. Sounds good. Okay, see you guys shortly. All right, guys, I got lappies. Hooray. So let's see if now we completed that quest. Hooray, we completed the quest. Can you please claim reward and then give me the stack of bricks that you get? Done. I have more lappies too. Sweet. I should make some kind of storage area for it, but I'm guessing this large chest here, right by the door, can be the one that we put things in. Sure. Cool. So, by the way, uh, I need 110, but that I didn't calculate having minus eight and six, right? So these two are useful. These two are not at the moment, because I don't have any plans to do the tank thing just yet. So minus 14 then. So 110 minus 14 should be 96, right? Sure, because I'm totally so, paying attention to the numbers you're spouting. Good. You should be, because it's extremely important to our survival. I believe 96 is a stack and a half, so we should be cool here. If I let this run for a little bit now, we should wind up either running out of um, this liquid stuff, which I don't think we will, uh, or we'll uh, probably terrible things will happen. So I, th I think we're okay. Wait, 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 wait. You inspire such confidence. Oh, no. Uh, okay, good. We have lots of... Okay, I was going to say, we shouldn't be out of it that fast, but if I really wanted to be safe right now, I just want to be a little safe.
So by doing this, guys, I'm just ensuring that there's like no chance for. I said stop. I'm not doing anything. I'm yelling at this smeltery thing. Oh, that should be cool. We've got a few seared stones. I just wanted to make sure we had enough backup seared stones. That should be good. As my inventory completely fills. Oh, by the way, I also have a trash can down there, trashing the cobblestone chunks that we get, because we don't need that anymore, right? Correct. Cool. There we go. All right, so that's automatically going to make us a bunch of seared bricks, hopefully, the, or the scorched bricks that we need for building a high oven controller. So that should be cool. Did that open up a quest for us, by the way? It did not. So what's the next thing in line? Uh, the end of the beginning. Uh, we also have to kill an Enderman, apparently. So we need plastic sheets and a printed circuit board for the next piece of this. That's going to be a little while. Plastic, by the way, I think we can get rubber trees from sifting dirt. Okay, so I'm hearing you're on it. Uh, I am probably not. I think there's a rubber tree seed of some sort, isn't there? Can you do a quick check and just make sure my uh, my sink clone's there? I can in a minute. One sec. Birch, acorn, peanut, tomato, rubber tree. Rubber tree seeds. Yes, 2% chance. I'm surprised I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, you want me to check on your sink clone? He's there. Woo! Hooray, Pahamar can live for another day. All right, do you want to come back in a minute when all this is done running? Sounds good. Yeah, because we're getting close to night, I think, as well, aren't we? Nope, we're okay. not at all. Okay. Yep, Ignore back me. in a minute, guys. Pahamar? Direwolf? I think I've got what I need here. Matter of fact, I really think I've got what I need here. Do I'm thinking I might want to put this actually out by our um, debating where I want it because it would be kind of nice to have it in a couple different spots. If we truly want to auto smelt all our stuff, we should put it out here near this thing. But we could always move it later um, once we have like a sufficient automation of charcoal coming in. I mean, we have a decent amount of charcoal, but it's not like automated charcoal yet. How are you for wood, by the way? I'm just about to farm some. Okay. Do you have any on you at the moment? Nope. I used okay. it all in my fine. sweet, sweet tower. Sweet, sweet tower, huh? Let's check it out. That is a sweet tower. Are you sure it's tall enough to get all the way to the city, though? No, I gotta make it taller, which means I need more wood. Ah. Hence but why you're gonna I farm I might have some. a pretty good vantage point for Endermen. Ooh. And you can just stare at them? Maybe. I'm not seeing any actually right now. I've seen a ton of other stuff. Dear God, if a skeleton shoots me right now, I gotta be really quick on the hand glider. Yeah, you're probably gonna want to be careful, I think. Anyway, yeah, the whole point is that we can get this uh, super tall platform so we can just hang glide over to the city or as close as we uh, we can. Uh, then it might That's actually be way. a nice way to start building a uh, mob farm. That's cool. Because I wouldn't we be opposed to, to that. Yeah, if we were to light up a lot of the surrounding area of our base, we could totally get a mob farm going and start collecting That's things. Cool. Especially once we get That's that plastic. True. Yeah. See, I'm going to um, be building a bunch of stuff, but i got a plan. Okay. Should I build our high oven down here in the basement then, in this little area you built out? I think so. Or do you want then... me to build it in one of the 9x9s? Uh, let's put it in the basement of that one 9x9. Okay. I can do that. Because that way, I mean, we don't always want to look at it, but we will always right. want to get the drops from it, and you're a huge fan of having automation down below. Right. Um, so that said, uh, I wouldn't mind building it into the wall, but that's going to be hard, I think, right? Uh, be careful doing that. Because you're exposing the trench. Oh. Well, I was just going to fill it back in with sand. Oh, okay. Well, you do your thing. But 
I don't I don't know if this is a good idea because I have to go three back and that would just be a big old nuisance. I guess I'll just yeah, the sand is definitely the more annoying thing. Yeah, the fact that you can't just build underground that easily. That's that's crazy right there, dude. What I've seen some people do is they actually will build underneath the spaceship. Oh, really? Yeah, because... That's interesting. I thought I had enough of this. I'm, I'm short by one scorched brick. Oh, well. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Scorch drain goes there, and scorch bricks are there. All right, so we've got a high oven, dude. I'm nice. gonna let this thing heat up for a minute. Can we come back when I'm done? Sounds good. All right, be right back, guys. All right, Pahamar, I am semi-automating the whole high oven thing here. I did a test of the hang glider tower, yeah. and it works beautifully. Nice. Yoink. I did a quick flight over and managed to get all the way to the uh, the city. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like, I landed in That's the buildings. Yeah. So, uh, I what I'm thinking is when we get over there, we can build another hang glider tower and have a quick way to fly back and forth. And it took me, like, ten seconds to fly over there. Whereas before, it took well, us, like, three cool. minutes to run over. Yeah, no, that's really good, dude. What have you done about the fact that there's terrible things over there that kill us immediately? Uh, of the uh, towers I flew into, I destroyed their mob spawners because this time I brought a pickaxe. Cool. Oh, by the way, this thing spits out slag, and I'm not sure how to automatically collect that easily. That's the, uh, the high oven? Yeah. So let's see, it's melted one so far, and what we should see then is three iron ingots worth of iron come out of this thing. Oh yeah, look at that, dude. Tripling our ore. So, um, I could have used a hopper here, but the reason I didn't want to use a hopper is hoppers are full blocks, so I wouldn't be able to access the high oven controller. And also because hoppers do not run when the lever state is on. Uh, so I needed something that could run with a redstone signal next to it. So both of those came together to equal needing a hopper. Or needing not a hopper. Um, all right, so now we just need like a decent amount of charcoal to keep this thing running. But I mean, you know, aside from that, dude, we've got a pretty good amount of stuff going on. Good times. You like? I like. Good. Looks like we got a couple eggs. Did you throw gravel in here again? Um, by the way, it only doubles things that are dusts, not gravel stuff. Nice. So that we can still throw into our whatchamacallit, and it'll be fine. All right, so next thing I want to do then is tidy up some of this junk that I happen to have. You can go into my food chest. Goodness, it's so hard to just walk near that area because it's just spewing out items. and <laughs> They keep going into my inventory. Yeah, we might need to make some more of those pneumatic hoppers. That shouldn't be a problem. As a matter of fact, speaking of pneumatic things that we have to make, do you want to complete another objective? The tubing, right? Yeah, it should be really easy to make. I think I just need glass, and we already have everything else we need. So I'll let this thing run for a bit. The charcoal luckily lasts a long time in there. It just needs to preheat the thing a little bit. Um, so all I need is glass, right? Do we happen to have any? I think I saw five in one of the chests. I concur. And then we just need compressed. It might have made its way. Yes, I believe it's just this, isn't it? If I'm wrong, I'll look it up. Nope, I'm right. Hooray! So that's crafted. Uh, now I need an air compressor. Is six of those and a furnace. Let's see if I can get that going. Okay, we're ready to claim reward, buddy. I'm dead. Again? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. out the game. Yeah. 
No, I'm not dead. Here, Bobby. Come through, come through. Come so, on, come on, come don't come scroll on. off of the, uh, the hang glider. Yeah? Does it make you fall? Yeah. Do you need food? Uh, I got... I might be okay. I'm okay. I can at least get the t to the chest. Blah. All right, I just made some bread and I'm cooking up toast right now. Um, so we have an option that we should decide what we want to do about something. This is actually a little bit of a tricky one. Um, I don't think we need a pressure gauge. Um, I'm feeling that reward bag. Yeah, those are really easy to make. It's just four gold and a compressed iron. So we do not need a pressure gauge. So the question is, do we both pick lightning plant seeds, or does one of us try for a reward bag and hope we get something good? I have to hope that he didn't put too many troll rewards in this thing, considering, you know, stuff. I took the reward bag. Um, you did? Okay, cool. Well, then I'll pick lightning plant seeds, because I don't know if there's another way to get them. I got two cold water um, bottles. Actually, yes, you can find grass seeds with cyan dye. So we could have made lightning plant seeds, but I'm going to go ahead and get them anyway, because that's a lot of work that I don't want to do. So claiming reward on lightning plant seeds. What would you get from your reward bag? I want to know. Two cold water. Two cold water. All right. I kind of feel like we probably shouldn't be picking that kind of reward anymore. <laughs> that's terrible. Two water? It was a merely okay reward. And merely it... okay? Oh, what a troll. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, lightning plant seeds, having one means that we will have many. I finally found an enderman. And we have four, so we're good. And I just killed it. Um, What's that? I killed an enderman. Nice! Does that mean we have a completed quest? Yep. Awesome. Uh, so what kind of reward do you want me to pick? Anvil needle gun? <laughs> That's funny. Feather fletching or copper sword blade? Copper sword blade seems out of the question to me, and feather fletching I think is pretty easy to get if we have feathers. I'm going to go with needle gun ammo. Yeah, I'm going to go with that too then. Well, that's so cool. We got an ender pearl. Needle gun ammo. Oh, it's an it's anvil. Oh, it shoots an oh. anvil? Yeah. Like oh. an anvil lands on the head of whatever it hits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, can we come back in a minute? Sounds good. All right, Bahamar, so uh, you built a pretty nice tower today, and I did a pretty good job, I think, with doing some cool stuff. Yeah, and we got that Enderman. Don't forget that. Yeah, you got that Enderman. I wouldn't say we got the Enderman. You got the Enderman. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the Tower of Sniping. That's pretty cool, dude. It really is. Um, so I'm putting all our metals in here. I'm going to go cut down some trees because I want more wood so that I can have more charcoal so that I can have more all the things. Sounds good. Um, between this episode and next, I'm going to look into what we need to do for some of the stuff we're going to be working on. Um, so, let's see, I want to get this here, that should be good. I need more water. I'm actually low on water. Um, I want to work on, I guess, the pneumatic craft quests next, because as we get pneumatic craft, we should be able to then tech into thermal expansion and mine factory reloaded, because... Mine factory reloaded machines are using the thermal expansion recipes, aka you need thermal expansion machine blocks, and those require a pneumatic craft item that you can only get through pneumatic craft. So I think we uh, should really start working towards pneumatic craft as our next to do item. You know what I mean? And you know what I'm working towards? What's that? Setting up, Setting uh, up. that other tower I was talking about in the city so that we can quickly go okay. back and forth because there's so much loot there we haven't got. Oh, yeah, no, that city is, I'm sure. Filled with loot, it's just also filled with terrible evil monsters. Aww, the little direwolf is scared. A little bit. That was a scary place. It was, actually. It really was, dude. Like, how many times did we die just trying to get our stuff back? Yeah, let's not, let's not remember that too much. Yeah, let's not rush into that. Those who forget history are bound to repeat it, Bahamar. Ooh, dire philosophy. Yeah. Says. Yeah, that's right. I know things. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I will be harvesting food. By the way, I think he disabled the, the soybeans being terribly super useful. 
Oh. I might be a little bit wrong about that, but I can't find the recipe for... What's that stuff that soybeans can turn into that can be used in place of meat? Tofu. Yeah, I can't find a way to make tofu. Can you? You need a presser. Uh, I think I have a presser, don't I? Oh, the presser presser. That's a block, isn't it? Yep. That's why it's not in any eye. Pahamar remembers. Yeah, that, we did a lot of that kind of stuff. Wow, we have a lot of leaves. I'm happy for that because it means we have a lot of water. So, you ready? Uh, you want to come back next time? Yeah, I think it's unfortunately wrapping up point for this episode. Um, so next episode, maybe Pneumatacraft begins. Sounds like a plan. All right, buddy. Take it easy. See you guys.